Tess, here we are in Pig Yard Gallery. These are absolutely fabulous. Tell us a little bit about the, the embroidery that we see here. Well, they're based on the work of Harry Clark, the famous Irish stained glass artist. And this large one here is based on a church in a window in a church in Carnalway in Kildare. And it's St. Hubert, who was the patron saint of hunters. And uh, I just love Harry Clark's work and I tried to recapture it in embroidery and to replicate the effect of a stained glass window using his images. Now the theme of the exhibition that's on here at the moment is colour. Yes. So wh why have you chosen reds and greens? Well, I, this is based on the actual window, which is, that those are the colours used. Um, I've just interpreted it with um, beading and embroidery. Uh, and I, th I think his work is so colourful anyway that uh, I thought it would be suitable for this exhibition. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll, the work of Harry Clark lends itself to, to stitching and embroidery of all kinds, I think. Uh, and I just love the kind of androgynous features of his subjects. It's quite involved, I have to admit. How long did it take you to put this together? Oh, quite a while. Um, quite a while. There's a lot of work in it, yeah. It's hard to say because, you know, you do it in fits and starts, and, uh, but I'd say a solid block of three months probably, at least, working pretty well flat out would be, yeah. So you knew that you were going to put on the exhibition at, oh, le yeah. at least three months in advance? Oh, absolutely. We decide a year in advance, roughly a year in advance, what uh, the theme of the exhibition is going to be and when it's going to be. And, um, yeah, we, we make the decisions fairly early on. And then we, we all go off and scratch our heads for a while and think of what we're going to do. Um, so I came up with Harry Clark as a, um, an artist that I'd like to have a crack at replicating. Tell us about this other piece that we have here as well. That piece represents, uh, it's a window from a window in Venice of the Queen's series by Harry Clark. And it is about Judith, who was a figure in the Bible. And she uh, was a beautiful woman who lived uh, in the Middle East at the time of an Assyrian general called Hol Holofernes. And he was creating mayhem and plunder all over the, oh, that area. And he was about to sack the city in which she lived. And in the middle of the night, she slipped into his tent with her sword and cut his head off. Uh, and that was the end of the sacking of her city. So she went down in history as the savior of that city. Um, she has quite a severe expression and she <laughs> looks like a lady not to cross. But I just like, again, Harry Clark, the, the women have quite severe faces and the men, as you can see in St. Hubert, has a slightly effeminate look for the patron saint of hunters. He doesn't exactly look like a tough no, certainly person. Yeah. How did you ever say, come on, I want to do embroidery. This is what floats my boat. How did you get into it? Well, I used to paint. Um, that was what I mainly did for years. And then I got involved with the Ross Tapestry and I learned to embroider on the Ross Tapestry. And gradually I incorporated embroidery more and more onto the paintings and just mixed the two media, yeah. Tess, I wish you all the success with these. They're absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for letting us have a look at these. It is for sale, is it? It, is, it certainly is for sale, yeah. yeah. Tess, thanks very much Thank for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Liam. Thanks.